I haven't cracked any uh, Force of Will packs in a while. Uh, the game has gone into a weird state, but that's not new for Force of Will. Some changes with uh, personnel, and it's unclear what's going to happen with the game. Uh, again, I'm always hoping that this game will survive. These are 17 packs that I've been saving uh, for just having fun cracking packs. These packs have gotten really cheap. Uh, Although I didn't buy them recently, I think it would, it, it, they would be cheaper if I bought them today. So these are Ancient Knights packs. Uh, they're going to go in the uh, in a playlist, in a new playlist that I'm going to create as I try to complete Rhea cl Cluster. I have already completed this uh, the base set for this uh, for this set. Of course, the codes don't work anymore, so um, they just don't because that application went away um, and um, I'm not going to collect all the variants so I think that's the only thing that I'm missing I think I'm missing four of the five variants everything else I've got uh, but I want to start the uh, the playlist with uh, the first set in the area cluster even though I already completed it uh, and the one that I need to com uh, complete right now and it, I almost have it all is the next one Advent of the Demon King and then the, the last two are the ones that I'll work on, uh, hopefully during the summer or later this year. As always, I love the artwork. I haven't uh, built a little cube with Rhea. I probably will at some point. And I already have built a uh, cube with, uh, with Alice. The one for Grim uh, cluster didn't work out that well. Uh, maybe because Millennium of Ages is a small set. Uh, Really like the way they did the uh, printing, where the the name is actually more readable. It actually the font actually makes the cards look prettier. It's always with the artwork with Force of Will. It's over the top, beautiful. Uh, I wish other games uh, did something like this. So that's our first pack. Um, I really liked it when the uh, when the codes were around and you could use them. It was nice once a year to receive a little something, but I understand cuss cutting is uh, important to keep the game going for the uh, people who own the company, so that, that makes sense to me. And I wish them good luck, of course. I hope uh, the game does keep going. So I'll put this there. Maybe I'll do a little recap. Taking my time as always. Mr. Slow, uh, I think that was it. Okay, every every cluster has a different setup for the uh, foils and full art and whatnot. So this would go into an elf deck. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do a a uh, tribal tribal decks. Love the artwork on this one. Yep, yeah, nice. Uh, get a free chant out of the top of your deck. These are the large sets that have some uh, uh, limited shaft, just like magic sets have. Uh, but now, luckily, in New Valhalla, they've gone to uh, smaller sets again, which I really like. So, destroy for four, quick cast, which is really a uh, flash. It's really an inst it makes a, a chant an instant if you're a magic player. And there's lots of counters in uh, in Ancient Knights, so that's very interesting. And I like the I think the weather is in in this set as well. Yeah. So that's our full art. I'm gonna probably have to hurry up because it's 17 packs. Uh, but again, these, these sets are always really pretty. Great artwork. Okay, hits for 300. Lifelink, it hasn't been coded into a keyword. Back to the elf deck. The pigs, which are great. Great cards, some of them got used competitively. And I can't wait for more vanilla uh, resonators, vanilla critters to make a vanilla deck to uh, that card from Tat. Something money. There you go. Beautiful.
Okay, so put that over here. We're already five minutes in, so I gotta gotta go a little quick to make my uh, 15 minute limit thingy. Hopefully I'll pull a variant, but I'm not sure that I will. The uh, castle target automatic automatic ability. That's nice. And then you draw a card. Gems. So there's definitely beasts and elves in here to uh, to build a deck to. Encounters depending on the ruler. And these packs have rulers. Not sure if I will pull one, but uh, they do have rulers. Recover a chant. Another vanilla critter. Return something from the graveyard. Another vanilla critter. Flying first strike. That's nice. Mid-level flyers. It's one of the things that I found when I was trying to build um, the um, Grim Cube. Not enough flyers. Nice pull. Secret rare. Dragonoids. Never get told to crack Force of Will packs. I always enjoy doing so. Can't wait for this uh, game to survive a few more years. Maybe even many years. I, I would love that. Similar packs, similar commons. protect some resonators and this is one of those uh, rare insert cards I'll be talking about it when I finish this, uh, these pack cracks Lots of text, only common, giving you choices for your elf deck. Mobilize requires you to constantly pay uh, the cost for it to attack. So it's a wall unless you pay the mobilize cost. Reanimation for four, very reasonable. And a big elf. Weather is rain, so I really like that. I thought that was very creative for this set. Gems. Weather is rain. Light gems. We're seeing a different range of cards in this pack when compared to... Um, the other packs. So there's our first ruler, probably our only one, fairer. Of course I already have this ruler, but it's always nice to have a second copy for maybe like a repeats book later on just to look at. cast another the mobilizer dude another elf doing great with elves in these packs it's a shame that these codes don't work anymore it was really it was really fun to uh, like I said you know get a little gift get to A. I was able to get to A last year and the year before. 
nice card. I think I it made it made it to many competitive decks. So. Vanilla critter. Not the variant. This is the normal one. And I am missing the variant. Another secret rare. And a nice full art. Search for a stone. Lifelink dude, mobilized dude. The pigs love the pigs. Yeah, I love this card. It's only on uncommon, but I really like the artwork on it. Gems. Another nice full art. I think the game is being discontinued in Japan, so it's a, it's an outside of Japan game from now on. It looks like. It looks in North America is one, it's probably one of its biggest markets. Dark Elf. Another different range. I like it when the packs don't repeat themselves so much. Pulled at least one ruler, that's pretty good. Whenever damage is dealt to you, put a plus 100, 100 counter on this card. Another elf. Reanimator folk. Good. Very nice. rare stone. Not sure if I'll have time to do a little recap because getting close to my camera's limit. Weather is rain. Two packs. I think we're doing perfect time. And I went a little too fast with some of the comments, so if I missed a variant, I'll be happy when I watch this video after the fact. which is what happened with the other, the one and only variant that I have pulled to date. Didn't even notice that I had pulled it when I was uh, cracking the packs. Okay, last pack. So I'll definitely be uh, working towards a, an elf deck for sure. 
Star Money. That's the Two Towers card that I was talking about. Golems you control are mobilized. That's nice, because then you don't have to pay the mobilized cost. And that's our last card, and I have a few seconds to just show as a recap. I, I think I don't have enough time for a recap, so here are the cards that we pulled, and we pulled one ruler.